Alexa, ask Garage to close the door. Closing. Hello and welcome to Home Automation X. Today we're going to review how you can control your garage door using your phone. Now this is the garage yet. Now it's pretty neat because you can actually open and close your door, set up alerts to remind you if you forgot to leave your door closed or open and all of that jazz. So we're going to get right into it. This also works in conjunction with Amazon Echo and Google Home and we'll show you how to do that shortly. Cindy, why don't you open the box and show us what's inside? Absolutely, Marianne. Okay, well, as you can notice, it's not a very flashy box, but it's what's inside that counts. But one thing about the box is that even though it may not be colorful or the flashiest, it is actually open source hardware, recyclable. Now, this is 100% recyclable, so it's very eco-friendly, which is one of the fun features that I like about it. Now, something else about this box is you will notice that it is Wi-Fi enabled. It's available at the App Store, and it's also Android compatible with Google Play. Okay, so I'm going to open this up and you actually, if you want setup instructions and technical support, you can visit their garageit.com slash start. And there's also a fix me option as well when you go into it. So what I'm going to do is open this up like so and voila. So again, what I just noted, there is a garageit.com slash fix me. That's your troubleshooting guide. And again, the slash start is where you can actually get your trusty browser and follow them. Now here is the actual device. Now this would actually, you would attach this right to the ceiling of your garage. Now how it works, and you're probably wondering what, what is the basis? How does this actually function? What it has is these reflectors. So when you put the reflectors on it, this will actually talk to it and it will shoot it with its laser beam. That's right, <laughs> laser beams attached to the reflectors. <laughs> now that's pretty neat because you can beam me up, Scotty, and that's how it knows that the door is open or closed, whether it is reading the reflector or not. Now we do have this device here, which is actually the wire that you will attach, and that's going to ensure, obviously, that everything is in functioning order. Uh, we got our USB compatibility. We have our adapter, and check this out, it's so cute! It's so a little cute. mini screwdriver! <laughs> so they thought of everything. Now these are of course are your adhesion pads, so that will actually enable you to be able to attach this device and go with the flow. We included a description below where you can find it on Amazon. Now let's go to the garage so we can install this. Now the best place to mount this charger is actually right under the controller. Now what I'm going to do is remove this adhesive here so that way it can stay on throw that away and you're going to center it like so the good thing about it is there we go so it's going to line up really nicely and then with these wires you're going to actually want to plug them right into the left here and that will allow you to just slide it in no added tools are necessary now we have a Genie garage door opener. It's the latest model, which doesn't allow for other push buttons to be used with it. Uh, they are very proprietary. In most cases, you would simply be connecting the wires to the opener, but however, there is a little bit of a workaround involved with this one. So how do you know if you need a workaround? Well, there's an easy way to tell. If your garage door opener buttons are yellow, then you have the security 2.0 and you will need to do this. And as you can see, we do have that. Now I'm going to show you how to do the workaround and that would actually involve taking the wires from that device and soldering them into the controller so that we are able to access it from anywhere. Let's go do that right now. As you can see here, we have our remote with our three buttons and the three switches on the back. And we attached our two wires here right to the middle one. And this is the piece that's going to connect into the garage. Well, maybe we should put the cover back on and go back to the garage and do just that. I think that's a great idea. Also, if uh, you're not comfortable soldering this, um, Garage It will do it for you if you send it into them. So now we're going to attach the remote to our garage door opener. Get that secure. And then we're just going to place these two wires into our garage. It. So now we're going to plug in our power. There we go. And we're all set. Now 
Now let's follow through on our app. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to our garage it and there's a login. So I'm just putting that in Now no door is present. So click add door at the bottom of your screen there. And that is actually going to have you set up your garage. Yet. So you're going to power on your garage yet by plugging it in and the indicator light should blink blue. Now, if this garage yet has been set up before you hold the mode button down for three seconds to set it up again. Now make sure your Android device is connected to the internet and tap the ready button to proceed. And it's a green button right in the middle bottom. I'm going to click that and then we should be good to go. Now you choose your garage yet. It starts with a photon. Okay. So photon slash YZBP in this case, and it's connecting, it's spooling right now. So I'm going to select my Wi-Fi network. <laughs> Ours happens to be blah, blah, blah. I know very, very creative name. So I'm going to enter my Wi-Fi password and then I'm going to press connect. So now your garage is connecting to blah, 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 and it's configuring your device Wi-Fi credentials. It's connecting to the Wi-Fi network and it could take about a minute for this whole process to ensue. So now it's waiting for the device cloud connection and verifying the product ownership. Once you're in, you're in. Setup completed successfully. You get the check mark of approval. You click done and now it's taking me to the garage. So I want to open the garage. So let's click on the door actually to close it because it is open right now. And here we go. It actually gives you a rundown of how much percentage it is until the process is complete. So it's telling me now 99% closed and we're good. Excellent. So it's really neat. Now it's completely closed. Now we're going to click on it again to open it. All right, here I am. And we're doing it right now, real live time. It's saying 12%, 24%. It's pretty fast and it's accurate because right now we're at the 80% mark, only a little ways to go. And voila, it's fully complete. So it is great. Now let's set up an alert to remind us if we left the door open. So what we do is we go into the event alert and there's a section where it says open. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to put the enabled timeout alert. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose two hours because I like that number. Now, after you're done that, you are done. So we have the alert set up and that's how you do it. Now, in order for the door to know if it's open or closed, we actually have to replace and put the reflector right where the laser beam is going. So that way it will reflect off and be able to adjust accordingly. It's that easy. You can set up an Alexa skill to control your garage or use IFTTT. Alexa, ask garage the status. Your garage is closed. Alexa, ask garage to open the door. Opening. Alexa, ask garage to close the door. Closing. Now remember, if your garage door opener buttons are yellow, you're going to need to do a workaround and you're going to need to go on this side right here. If they're not yellow, you're actually going to plug it in where the wires are. Now, if you're not into soldering, that's not an issue because you can send it to garage it and they'll be happy to solder it for you. I really like the garage it. They mailed it to us so we could do a review on it. It's pretty simple to set up and very easy to use. You can find it for $89 on Amazon and we posted a link to it in our description below. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and that it created and opened new doors for you. As always, <laughs> thank you for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our Home Automation X YouTube channel, that you follow us on Instagram, that you like us on Facebook, and that you shoot us some comments and questions. Thank you for watching.